Now, my mother and maternal grandmother were the, probably the two most important family members of my life. They were great comforters on which I could rest. My mother was my reasoner. She and I could have great conversations, and I knew that she would always be beside me, no matter the, what the situation. My maternal grandmother was uh, my soul. She and I saw eye to eye. Now we'd sit out on the porch during the summer months and shuck, which means a crack open, cherry stone clams, put some raw horseradish on them and swallow them down raw and whole. And she had the softest skin a person could ever have. Now, if you're joining us in going through the six-month reading plan through the book of Psalms, today's reading is Psalm 130 and 131, and I encourage you to read those psalms. Well, Psalm 131, verses 1 through 3 says this, O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor my eyes haughty, nor do I involve myself in great matters or in things too difficult for me. Surely I have composed and quieted my soul like a weaned child rests against his mother, my soul is like a weaned child within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and evermore. Well, this psalm is very interesting for a few reasons. It's very short, first of all. It's one of the shortest. You don't have to be long-winded to communicate truth. Secondly, it illustrates how we are to approach life in a relationship with God. And finally, it presents a finality of our relationship with God. Now, we who have a relationship with God are to understand who we are and how we are to act in our life. We know that we have nothing which brings us to God. We do not proudly present our, our accomplishments. We recognize it as God through Christ who deserves all that glory. The second part of our relationship is that we don't sweat the small stuff, or even the large stuff for that matter. Life happens, bad things, and good things are going to be surrounding us, clamoring for our attention. If we open up our hearts and our mind to their noise, we will, by default, drown out God's voice. Our mission in life is to serve God through Christ, not to be overwhelmed with a political or social situation. We should still pray for that which is going on around us, but we should concentrate on it. Finally, our only hope is in the Lord. Now, the word of the Lord is a translation of the name Jehovah. It is a characteristic that follows the word, um, such as the promise-making, covenant-keeping God. Jehovah promises and keeps those promises. Therefore, our hope is on the unchanging promises of God. He made the promises, and he will keep them. If those are on which we rely, then we are comforted, and we can rest on his breast. And if you would like a PDF copy of this entire reading plan, please send an email to PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.